didn't find any other okay very good yeah theek hai so i think we are sort of ready to start dipankar and anupama and virendra are in the room okay so i i'm not sure how we want to proceed does anyone have some slides which they want to share or this is going to be a sort of uh, generic conversation or what uh, has been planned by people who have thought more about it i mean it is going to be only conversation maybe one or two may have one or two slides which they will <laughs> probably share sure yeah yeah so yeah. shall we start now i think that's a good okay. idea yeah so everybody can hear you uh, yeah. we'll soon have somebody in the room who will bring some mics along so that you can hear the other participants as well right now you will be able to hear only me because i'm standing next to the podium one of the first we need some yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. my mic first theek hai yeah let's get started please yeah okay now uh, formal start okay yes yeah so good morning everybody i am uh, very happy to welcome you all to our uh, today's uh, panel discussion <clears throat> at the outset i would like to express my gratitude to asi and all the office bearers who have made this uh, session possible and uh, i also would like to thank all the panelists who have uh, agreed to uh, you know participate in the discussion and uh, share their ideas now my special thanks to the two chairpersons mr piyush pandey and dr shailaja who are going to be chairs you know uh, in our panel discussion mr piyush pandey has been in the planetarium field since the planetarium field itself was in a nascent stage in india you know that is in the uh, mid 80s and uh, during those days uh, the uh, all the planetariums were having a classical systems and you know he was instrumental in fabrication of special effect projectors and also a system to control uh, special effect projectors during shows and uh, in 2003 first digital planetarium was uh, uh, installed in india and then you know he was in mumbai planetarium and i still remember that uh, you know when we visited mumbai then he had shown one small video clip you know of uh, fly over over mumbai you know? so he has been keeping pace with the technology and uh, has been very active in the field and uh, i look forward to his uh, helpful suggestions and comments for the benefit of all of us who are still active in the field and my, our next uh, chair is dr shailaja my senior colleague she is here with us and uh, she continues to be actively associated with uh, uh, us as a visiting scientist she has been active in astronomy education popularization and also she is a uh, prolific writer contributing her articles to magazines and uh, she has spent several uh, books on astronomic uh, uh, astronomical topics and she is also very active in outreach activities uh, with her deep involvement in interaction with the public and all during astronomical events and uh, i'm sure that uh, she will certainly suggest us ways to work together to have a great impact on student community now i request uh, chairman of the first session mr piyush pandey to take control of the session and get the session started thank you thank you pramod ji for your kind words let us start right away i would first like to know whether mr sandeep bhattacharya has joined the meeting i don't think he has uh, is he likely to because yeah he may he may join he may join i'm okay. not too sure yeah so assuming that we have only uh, four speakers yeah. in this session and the time allowed being 45 minutes so initially we will have about 6 minute each given to every speaker thereafter there can be uh, we may have questions to each speaker soon after his speech and then at the end of the uh, uh, of it all when everybody has done his bit we will have a panel discussion kind of a thing based on the inputs given by four speakers and if uh, sandeep joins well and good will be very happy and it of course depends upon your policy whether you want to take questions from the audience but i think the numbers i have here on the screen 
uh, in the meeting, uh, I think the um, speakers are the audience themselves, <laughs> just plus a few more. Uh, great. So thank I thank the SI and Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium Bangalore for this effort. So we'll, uh, before I invite the first speaker, I would like to say a few things about this subject, which Mr. Pramod Galgali has chosen. Planetarium shows, licensed, recorded shows, uh, which are in-house produced and live shows. Now, those who have, uh, like me, who have been in planetarium business since 1976, uh, we have seen, you know, planetariums evolve from the optomechanical era to the digital to the hybrid and so on. And the show production techniques have also varied. Initially, everywhere it was, Calcutta was the first planetarium of India. And initially, it had only live shows. And when we tried to introduce uh, the canned shows, which I'll explain later, uh, pre-recorded shows, I would like to call them, uh, with uh, some kind of automation system, which Pramodji has already mentioned. Am I audible to all? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, there were a lot of uh, first resistance, then reticence in accepting, hesitancy in accepting the change. But when the digital era dawned into Mumbai planetarium, things changed. When I was in Allahabad for 12 long years in the beginning, uh, we had an optomechanical system, but uh, that we used to call the special effects used to be named as LMPO projectors. They were because they were supplied by an electronic emporium in Mumbai. And what you could do with those is make some object, some uh, move in the sky, X, Y motion, rainbows, and all that. I mean, there was very little uh, with regard to special effect over there. Then later, when uh, purely digital uh, planetarium systems came, purely digital, then Everything was built in, in the digital system. Initially, the digital systems were a little poor in resolution, etc. But now they can beat, match, or not beat if match any optically produced star field. So the need to have the script writing technique, the script writing had to be in tune with the what visuals you were showing on the sky. So in optomechanical era, it was different. In live shows, you have very little scope to show. You mostly do the skywalk. And in digital, you have the entire technique. You have even the layers of videos, which are overlaid over each other. If you make the upper layer transparent, the lower layer, for example, stars, gets visible. And you can do so many experiments and you can interplay these properties to get various effects. Uh, initially, it was very difficult. You had to have a digital component in the show and then the uh, sort of skywalk component because uh, the video content was uh, pre-recorded by people, the vendors of the companies. Whereas the Skywalk component we had to design. So initially, you know, there were two separate parts of the show and they looked distinct shows. Later, we developed this technique, how to fuse them. In fact, during a Skywalk program, you could bring in slowly video from the same source, from the same a screen, not an additional projector. So this is how we have seen the transformation in planetarium show production technique. With these few words, I invite the first speaker, Mr. H.R. Madhusudan, 
from the hosting planetarium, Jawaharlal Nehru Planetarium, Bangalore, to say what he has to say. Uh, so, so good morning to you all once again. And uh, uh, so I'll, I'll be just uh, presenting something which is known to everybody there in the planetarium community, because everybody has been there for uh, more than a couple of decades. So we have all gone through at some stage or the other, making our own shows. And at some other stage, um, having a live show or purchasing a show which has already been produced. Uh, so I'll be speaking mostly about uh, our, our experiences of making uh, our own planetarium shows. Uh, as you all know, uh, uh, this planetarium uh, is run by a body of scientists and it is uh, the, the parent organization is Bangalore Association for Science Education. Um, therefore, the line of demarcation between uh, educational programs of the planetarium and uh, the popularization programs of the planetarium is pretty thin. So we try to popularize educational programs and at the same time, uh, we also educate uh, even through popularization programs. So this has been the uh, this has been the uh, feature of all the programs here. So not surprisingly, even the planetarium show also follows the same philosophy. Therefore, uh, there is when we prepare the script, uh, there is quite a bit of uh, educational content in addition to uh, the popular level at which uh, astronomy has to be communicated. So when we make our own shows, there is a uh, good grip over the ratio that you want to maintain between the educational content of the script and the entertainment part of the script. And like Dr. Piyush uh, right now mentioned, uh, with the advent of a digital technology, the whole canvas is our uh, screen now, unlike uh, in the optomechanical systems where we used to have three gun projectors, uh, video projectors to break the monotony of uh, using slide projectors and star field. Uh, it had a specific area over which we would uh, convey our uh, visual content, uh, especially the video. But with the advent of a, a digital uh, format, the entire canvas is at our disposal. So which means there's a huge space to play around with. And that also gives us uh, uh, a leeway, which is uh, not seen, uh, leeway in writing the script which is not seen in the optomechanical system earlier. So we were constrained to some extent. So now, it, so when we make our own programs uh, in this digital format, especially, there is a um, lot of scope to express our creativity uh, in formulating the script uh, in such a way that the visuals are really appealing and uh, we use the entire space. Now, coming to this program uh, content, See, even uh, see whether the program is a live show or whether the program is purchased, somebody would have written the script and somebody would have produced. So ultimately it is uh, uh, a human uh, uh, endeavor. But the basic difference as I see is that uh, when we make our own shows, as you all know, um, our expression uh, is given full freedom. So we have both control over the content, we have control over the methodology. And since we have uh, the pulse of the people who come to our specific planetarium uh, very well known to us, so it is possible to orchestrate the script in the program in such a way that it appeals to the audience that come here. And I'm sure you'll all agree that uh, from planetarium to planetarium, roughly the, uh, the nature of audience that comes uh, will be slightly different depending on uh, various factors. So when we know our uh, uh, audience uh, very well, their taste and what they would uh, uh, like to know and at what level. So as a script writer and as a program producer, we have complete control over that. So that is one thing which makes uh, uh, producing our own shows uh, very uh, impactful uh, to the audience. And the second thing is that there is a uh, again, a personalized uh, style, uh, say when we uh, write a script, for instance, there would be many things that are relatable to 
say bangalore or karnataka in in general similarly that would be the case with every planetarium so that you uh, you pay attention to the local uh, uh, resources and just to give one example um, in one of the shows that we made about the moon so usually you talk about the size of the moon how big it is and so on then there are some analogies given so it would be very nice to say that moon spans as much as uh, say from kashmir to kanyakumari which people relate very easily than when you say that it is from one part of australia to another part of australia right i have one minute more yeah okay <laughs> Yeah, I'm reminded of uh, uh, something that Professor Vishweshwar would always tell us about when we write script or any presentation we make. That is, you always have a good beginning and a good end, and keep them as close to one another as possible. So that is true of uh, uh, even our planetarium script writing. So, so I'll, I'll write. I would, I would like to conclude by saying that uh, when we make our own shows, number one, uh, the script writers' uh, creativity is. Uh, Uh, given full expression and secondly we are using local resources whether it's video editing audio narration recording and so on and thereby we are also encouraging the local resources to uh, flourish and uh, thirdly uh, we can keep the entire program that is uh, uh, really palatable to the local audiences so these are the three main advantages of making our own shows so later on as the discussion begins uh, maybe we can add more points to this thank you very much for this opportunity thank you mr madhusudan uh, i just want to add something to which you said about the vast canvas available because of the digital platform uh, earlier you know in these aptomechanical era we used to talk about supernova explosions somebody was showing a picture of crab at his back niruj mohan so in those days we had to go on describing the nothing is happening in the sky and you go on describing a supernova explosion and then throw a picture of crab or sometimes rotate it in the sky if it is properly uh, masked at the edges then you do it that was all you could do but what this has done is now you actually keep mum while the explosion takes place because <laughs> the music and the visual takes care of it thank you with that i uh, does anybody want to add anything to what madhusudan has said anyone or at the discussion stage maybe at the end we can have no at, at the end so i invite the second speaker dr y ravi kiran director jawahar planetarium prayagraj welcome yeah good morning sir thank you for giving me this opportunity good morning everybody here uh, i am going to talk about how we make the programs at our planetarium so first uh, step wise i am talking about it first what we do is we all sit together our planetarium we have a very small team we have only three people myself and then one surur fatima is there she is sitting beside me uh, she is an educator and one more person mr ansari is there who is an engineer so we all three first of all we select some topic uh, like we have done on solar system we have done a topic on uh, program on eclipses or some topic we select and first of all we all sit and casually note down what all the interesting points we have that we can visualize then once we select the topic we make complete research on that subject collect all the information collect maximum visuals videos wherever we can get these things from internet full dome uh, full dome visuals full dome videos all these we collect once we have all these we prepare a story board the story board introduction uh, we also show little night sky because uh, as mr piyush has said suppose we want to show the crab nebula something before crab nebula we like to show people what they know otherwise our people they will come and say that you have not shown this you have not shown that so before that before we go into the main topic we also show them what they all know like some planets some uh, constellations of the rishi these familiar things so that at least they feel happy that oh we know this uh, yes they have shown this what i know is right so that way 
so uh, we cover all topics that are of interest to layman and also students in that field then we also note down the india's contribution then some future works involved as madhusudan has to, uh, told uh, has said it's more like a phd thesis where the first chapter and last chapter are important you need to correlate both these things so what is the scope of work and and what is the future and then in between our research papers correlate all these uh, this kind of thing uh, the first introduction last uh, becomes a issue for us so that part we have to deal it in a very good way and then once all this is done then again selection of visuals is there videos again then script writing personalize the script we also talk about our alabad a uh, little about uh, yeah prayagraj all these places up more about india when yes sir hello okay. then our main thing is uh, we show the program only in hindi so whatever script is written i write the script then uh, this script is translated into hindi so the translation part is taken care by the other staff i am a do i am a non hindi person i try to get involved later on and see that the words are more simplified and then uh, parallelly we do the creation of scripts in digistar system so we need to write the software scripts in java and python for all these uh, now uh, whatever we are visualizing there will be hundreds of small scripts uh, that are there which we will be combining into the main script so uh, uh, this part is also taken care and later on narration narration initially we try to do it on our own so that uh, we get the actual time of the program so our educator she her voice uh, she has a good voice we use her for narration mm, please try to conclude oh so okay sir so uh, uh, so uh, this uh, narration a uh, lot of time is uh, spent on narration we use adobe audition after adobe audition uh, the uh, we combine the scripts and then we try to merge the program music is also taken from uh eso websites and other places and this is how our program is made yeah. maybe in the end uh, later on i definitely definitely, <laughs> definitely thank you so much so yes, from yes. bengaluru we had gone north to prayagraj now we go deep south again uh, and we come to calicut i invite mr jayant ganguly from the regional science center planetarium calicut thank you sir and uh, i am so happy to uh, present uh, before uh, uh, before the chairman who from whom i actually took the initial lessons in this particular field craft of making planetarium shows so that's uh, that's something good so uh, coming back to my planetarium uh, the, i will be sharing some of my own experiences for the last 27 years which i have done we 20 i have made nearly uh, or i i should not say we have made nearly uh 26 or so planetarium shows of different style and stuff and uh, uh, uh i will be sharing some of the personal experiences so like uh, i believe that like some sophisticated camera and high end uh, hardware software combo may not result in a good movie uh ultra sophisticated planetarium projection instrument with a high end software also may not result in a good planetarium show development because after all it is a creative process and um, uh, and the way actually we develop uh, is that we holistically take into account uh, uh, 
the, the demography of the location where we are located, the type of visitors we expect and the type of expectation from them. For example, in Calicut, we are have a, around a 3.25 million uh, population of which uh, we see the, how, how their beliefs are. Like, for example, we have a 56% uh, Hindus and 39% Muslims. And then we are surrounded by, in the in south, we have the Malapuram district, which is majorly dominated by Muslim communities who follow, who have their own belief systems, because these belief systems are something which uh, may be correct, may be wrong, but uh, some aspects which we can help them through our planetarium shows, we, we try to focus on them. So uh, now I will be uh, telling you something about some of the shows which we tried our hands. And the first debut was on to a show titled uh, Dona and the Universe, which we developed in the year 1999. So it was the first show and it was a, a narration. In a, it was a conversation between an uncle and a child where actually the uh, uncle is an astronomer and the child asks question. He, she is studying in Sapa primary class six or class seven and the thing goes on. But that was the first show where actually we wrote the script, we uh, chose our visuals, we chose our music, they, we hired voice artists and we trained them how to do it. So that was a very challenging uh, thing and we did it quite well. And then uh, apart from that, actually we uh, tried our hands because moon is one of the topics which appeals. Just now we heard from Bangalore, Mr. Madhusudan said that they have also developed from uh, a planetarium show titled On Moon. But in Calicut, as I have already shown you that the, the stratification demographically, uh, they want to know about moon. So we not only made shows titled uh, Destination Moon and Moon Beyond Fantasies, but we also tried our hands with uh, uh, Ramzan and Islamic astronomy, which also includes a substantial part of the aspects of moon. So uh, while making the destination moon uh, we tried to think that was our second show which i worked on and we tried to actually break the monotony of having an introduction to a show and then starting the show and something new we tried to start the show with a, a short uh, uh, poem type of thing or so in malayalam we did it with a song so that was something different then we have a large chunk of students who, from upper primary kids who come to our uh, center during January to March. And so we thought that they have iconic things like Superman, Spider-Man, and all those things in their mind. And they love to see them uh, and interact with them. So we made a show, Astro Adventures with Superman, where the Superman explains uh, different astronomical concepts. Then we had shows on Indian astronomy, where we highlighted something about the Kerala, because in the, 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 the there is a from we have learned from some literature survey that there was a revision of some of the astronomical constants uh, through an astronomical gathering near Tirunanvaya, near Torikod, and uh, many many constants uh, initially calculated by Aryabhatta. So in this way, actually, we try to localize these shows. And uh, as we as uh, the chairman has already said that see the, the trend has changed. We have started with optomechanical, then we came to hybrid, and now it is going to uh, digital and in future we have panels in dome where the screen is itself the panel like a tv panel so uh, the thing is that what is the difference between what i feel between optomechanical and the digital is that in optomechanical we have to explain everything through narratives and visuals but in dome actually since we have the full screen and music and the 5.1 audio or a higher audio system all this uh, reflects on the signifier significant and what the things without saying a simple word through silence so that is something very unique, uh, like we have when we see the classic planetarium show called Realm of Light, Chronicle of Cosmos by Peter Pop, we see how he uses silence in the movies. So in that way, actually, uh, the trend is changing. And uh, we are also mentioned the people are learning from the cradle to grave and their learning process is also advancing. So in that way, the shows of planetarium scripts um, are the style and stuff is changing. And we try to keep up with the shows, and that's what I have to say. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, okay. now, before I invite the next speaker, I would like to uh, ask of the organizer, Mr. Pramod Dalgali of Bangalore. Has Mr. Sandeep Bhattacharya joined the conference? It doesn't Mr. look like. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean that Shubhendu gets more time than the other speakers, <laughs> because we will uh, 
divide that time in our panel discussion part because we all of us i don't know about you dr shubendu but uh, dr patnaik but uh, most of us including me we have missed the title given by Lost. mr damodar yeah the title itself anyway uh, but you please go ahead with your as per your idea so i invite dr shubendu uh, patnaik from pathani samant planetarium bhubaneswar <laughs> to say few words thank you pius ji uh, thank you all the senior members of the, and the planetarium the whole, you are all we are working for maybe more than 2 3 decades and uh, the chairman has asked me to explain my career means 30 years in 3 minutes so that is what uh, is expected uh, so all of us know about uh, regarding the soul production how the soils are produced and rabi and uh, ganguly sahab have already explained all those things i am not like everyone to... you also have five five or six minutes huh? yeah so yes, definitely i'll just finish in five minutes don't uh, so uh, i am not going to share those experiences but uh, uh, the most important thing is the choosing the topic when there is uh, uh, initially that uh, optomechanic system there we are writing script Uh, depending upon the what kind of effects we have, that time uh, we wanted to present all the effects we have. Then accordingly we write the script. But now the things are in the digital era has just uh, reversed. We first write the script, then try to fit the uh, visuals whatever is needed because these visuals are now plentifully available. Uh, we are discussing uh, of and uh, before this also. Uh, in the digital system, we have lot of uh, free shows are now available. We have already downloaded and uh, translated to them to English, uh, sorry, into Odia and Hindi. Uh, like I'll just give you one two examples. And ISO has a, a European Space Agency. They have a real 4K uh, planetarium shows, which can be shown in digital system very easily. We have. Uh, downloaded r2 universe europe to stars the sun our living star there are a lot of shows and there are a lot of clips that are available right now uh, free of cost and uh, without any license so the topic of this today's discussion on the planetarium shows license recorded and live shows so i am not going to uh, talk about uh, recorded and live shows but uh, to get licensed shows it's not very difficult nowadays uh, if you are really interested we can prepare a show within a very short of uh, time duration and uh, this show has to be as per audience uh, has already been discussed because in bhubaneswar we have a different uh, different kind of audience like uh, from oriya medium school we are very 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 at a lower level of our knowledge whereas there are few english medium schools many english medium schools are uh, elite audience for them we prepare a little different uh, uh, content so these uh, show production definitely uh, depends upon the creativity of the show writer and who are doing doing that uh, we have a team of uh, people who are uh, not very experts but we discuss lot of things before preparing a show we sit down and discuss what to do how to so even a word has uh, is debated so whether this word should be there or not so these kind of things goes on everywhere i know uh, everywhere uh, also uh, means, uh, now it's very easy for uh, producing shows and um, what my experience says uh, once a show is produced that has to be upgraded changed and uh, remodeled every very frequently so that we also do uh, and uh, normally uh, we make shows depending upon the what people want to see like uh, we have a questionnaire we have a feedback form regularly we take feedbacks from uh, the visitors and depending upon the, there are few uh, questions few things people or students or every always want to know so those things we want to try to kind of put in in a show so that becomes very natural that uh, about 30% of this or 40% of so every show are common like students always want to ask what is a black hole or what how the universe is produced those contents are almost uh, similar and we tried various things like we have a program as mr ganguly has said 
to about 30 minutes of the out of 30 minutes about 15 minutes of the program contains songs uh, local songs so we always try to make uh, shows depending upon our local requirement local contents so those things uh, can be discussed in a lot of things and uh, we have in past mr mcus have also agreed when I mean, there is um, during the celebration of 30 years of mumbai plantum maybe 2007 we had gathered almost all the plantum people were there in the we from that time we are trying to accommodate or uh, collect all the people uh, together but uh, still we are uh, they are informally meeting everywhere so let's uh, have a beginning from now again because our days are now uh, going out and limited so young people who have joined may come in and uh, have more and more uh, such things and uh, meet uh, very frequently to uh, discuss all those things. I think I'm within the time. Also, they have uh, any minute. Yeah, Pius, you are uh, muted. Do you want to say something or? Um, it's OK. We... we can have a discuss formal we discussion. We can have a discussion. Yeah. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Patnayak. And to begin the discussion, I mean, it can meander from one topic to another in the allowed time. Please remember, from 12.30, we have the next session, chaired by Dr. Sherja, on coordinated activities in planetariums. So right now it is 12.08, and our stipulated time was 12.15, but we started five minutes late. So with that presumption, I say, let us conclude at 12.20. So you have 11 minutes of time left for a discussion. I request, uh, why not address the topic itself? The topic was planetarium shows, license, which you, Dr. Patnayak, you of course touched it, uh, the license part, recorded shows, in-house produced, and live shows. Okay, live shows, uh, there cannot be any discussion because live shows have their own appeal. Uh, if the speakers are good and if they know at the right time to invoke what object in the sky. They are, have to be very dexterous with their hand because you have to operate the mechanical machine. Live shows are very difficult in a digital system. Because when you're doing that, once again, you record the whole thing, it becomes a recorded show. I have something to say uh, before I invite others about the word licensed. By licensed, uh, at least I would, I can recall two shows made by my team when I was in Mumbai Planetarium. One was uh, Wonders of the Universe, and the other was Hide and Seek in the Night Sky. These shows, when I visited some planetariums where the equipment of Evans and Sutherland was installed, I saw the same shows running over there. I won't comment whether they were licensed or unlicensed. Why we had to do that? Uh, because when Wonders Universe we got first time, it had uh, we did not have um, audio tracks separated into six tracks, 5.1 system. So what we had to do, we had to take out the output of amplifier, record it onto a machine, and then create a 5.1 audio with a new narrative of English in, in, I mean, American English into Indian English, because there were many pronunciations would not have gone here. They said, as if it is the eye of the gad. Now gad, we don't know, we call it God. Similarly, there were so many words, so we had to redo the English into English. And of course, Hindi had to be redone. Then, similarly for the other show. So license can be one, even if it is not being produced by, uh, uh, show content making company, but a planetarium itself, but that planetarium can license it to be run at other places where the, it is compatible with the, it is, it can be ported easily like a PDF file. So uh, the, with these comments, I invite, I think, should I begin with the host planetarium, uh, Mr. Pramod Galgali? Uh, sure. Ar Arvindji has raised a hand. Can do that. Arvindji, yeah, so you want to, yeah, I think let us, Mumbai, yeah, let's go to Mumbai. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I think we talked about the uh, live shows. Now with Digistar 6 that we had about for a few years, so we tried this live shows even with the Digistar kind of a thing, it is very much possible to do live shows and this is how we do. And uh, what we do is that uh, we show the sky 
planets, etc. And my colleagues, they would go into the central part and actually talk. So live shows can be done in coordination with another person who is sitting at the console. Or generally, we also have a tie, um, uh, tab. Okay, where we're using the tab, you can advance the show, go back, or you can make changes in that. And uh, thirdly, of course, there is an Xbox which is coming in the market, which has been there in the market. So you could use that. So digi it, live shows are actually even more easier in uh, Digistar uh, or other um, the digital planetariums. Yes. That's what I wanted to add. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to add a few things about the live shows. You know, here in Bangalore, we have on two occasions we have tried. That is. Uh, uh, for uh, annual eclipse of uh, 26th December 2019. During that time, you know, we had used our uh, Uniview software here, and we were showing public uh, how the uh, uh, how it would appear if we are in space, and then you know the shadow moving along the uh, on the Earth. Okay, so uh, when we explain such things and use those uh, visuals, it has a, a lot of impact. Because you know we say that you know the uh, eclipse, the path of eclipse, you know, it starts from uh, you know uh, western uh, shore and then moves towards the eastern shore and all. But we are actually showing the path. You know we are showing a map of India and simula that simulated thing, and that had a lot of impact. You know I mean uh, people were really appreciative of that. It was a, a small show, okay, and as the visual was going on, you know somebody would be there and then keep explaining those things. And the second time we tried was uh, during Great Conjunction. We used uh, a Stellarium software, and then you know we were actually showing the actual position of various planets and why the two uh, those uh, planets were appearing close to each other, and that was also very much appreciated. So uh, using these uh, di our digital systems and creating something. Uh, to explain some uh, uh, astronomical event, and it has a lot of impact. So uh, personally, I feel there is a lot of scope for live shows. Yeah. May I add one more? Yeah. Uh, one more on this, uh, and, and that is that uh, you can in the digital mode, you can also live stream the uh, other uh, other events which are uh, live, say from YouTube or something. And uh, during this the uh, Chandrayaan landing. We did a quite a lot of interactive sessions with the general public. So yeah, you have a lot of uh, possibilities. And as you said just now, that other thing that we can, uh, which I was going to say in my uh, talk next uh, in the next session, but let me just say that that is that if you have a lunar eclipse, solar eclipse, or whatever is going on, we all planetariums can actually show that thing at our own place. That is, suppose Mumbai has a cloudy sky and Bangalore is clear then we can actually live stream Bangalore um, event at our planetarium. So this should be possible to do a reasonable amount of uh, <laughs> live activities with the planetariums, uh, uh, the digital planetarium. Can I add something here? Please. Uh, that means this is where uh, we need the uh, observatories to chip in because when we are trying to show something live, so last time for the eclipse, for example, we were able to live stream from uh, different observatories and therefore that becomes part of the show and we showed it on the plain screen. Instead of that, if we can plan it ahead and show it inside the screen, that gives a very lively feeling and therefore uh, that those kinds of shows are welcome and this is where the observatories, at least those in India, uh, should help us, help the planetary people. Uh, with uh, very good visuals. Wonderful idea, really. Wonderful idea. We have seen those observatory people on the uh, news channels, of course, during such events, but it will be much better they, that a feed is given to the planetariums also. Now, Jayanto, do you want to see anything? I just wanted to make a comment about this uh, optomechanical systems and digital systems. Okay. See, when the uh, earlier, before the digital systems came into being, planetarium shows were basically uh, giving information. You know, I mean, those shows were basically sort of you know made to give information to public. And today, with the internet and all, everybody knows about those things. So 
with the digital system, the biggest change which I feel that has come about is people are coming here for experience. So they want to see very uh, good quality visuals. Then they want this uh, 5.1 stereo and they want to be part, you know, that immersive feel that we would like to give. I mean, they are uh, looking more for that. That I feel is one of the things. And uh, as uh, Mr. Piyush Pandey was telling about the subject of the today's uh, panel discussion about the uh, licensed shows and in-house produced shows. I thought I'll just make one or two uh, comments. You know, these licensed shows are generally produced by production houses uh, in other countries and the quality of production will be very high. The quality of the, uh, because they have uh, uh, large uh, resources, budgets and all, and they'll also have large talent pool because specialists in different fields, they will be chipping in. Whereas, uh, as uh, my colleague Madhusudan pointed out, that a local touch is missing in them. For example, the shows which we produce here in Bangalore, um, for example, the uh, music, you know, we use Indian music, Indian instruments and all, but there, the uh, I mean, it will be a different type, you know, people will not be uh, easily able to relate to that. Then as Mr. Uh, Mr. Piyush Pandey had pointed out, the accent of narration, that also varies. Many times, you know, uh, students here and the public here find it difficult to follow. And uh, content is not sort of a tailor-made, you know, it cannot be tailor-made for that. But the one of the biggest problems which, uh, you know, when we wanted to take some shows that we faced was uh, the many a times, you know, we don't like the content, you know. The uh, astronomy content in the shows will be very superficial. Okay, because they are making it for a, a global audience, the... Uh, while the uh, visuals are of uh, very good quality, the science content in the program will be small. So these are the, uh, you know, some of the issues that we have to face when, when we decide whether we want to produce shows or whether we want to license shows. Now, most importantly, the money, whether all the planetariums can afford to buy licenses or uh, such shows. Yeah, money is a criterion here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Li li license fees are quite expensive, you know, with the whatever fees we pay for one year's license, you know, one with year. that money, one can produce a show here. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think, Prabhuji, the lady on your left, uh, extreme left, was raising her hand. Does she want to say something? I see. Yes. Uh, Lashmi, no. <laughs> Asha, maybe it was a gesture of a poster. Hello, can I come in here from the um, audience here in the ASI uh, room? Uh, please, we will come. Yeah. So, uh, Sharaja, you talked about, uh, you know, getting live feed from the observatories when there are um, events. I, um, you know, I think that is um, an important thing that you should probably be looking at. For example, uh, if you remember the total solar eclipse, we had a live uh, cast from Hanley. And, um, you know, when Nainital got clouded out, they took the feed from IAA and they were showing that and we could, you know, link up from the various observatories and saying that the observatory people are sitting there on TV channel is not a right thing, is not a good comment because I feel that Planetaria can also reach out to the observatories and we are definitely willing to, you know, provide the feed. It's not that we are not. So I think, you know, that it should be that there should be a reach out and a meeting point between both organizations. That is what is important. In fact, in Bangalore, we sitting in, the... in TV channels is not a bad thing because earlier it was very difficult to reach out to the observatories. Now they are coming out there on their own through channels. So no, it's let's not see a bad comment. It should be taken in the right spirit. Yes, but, but I think that we should see what is happening today rather than making comments based on what was happening in the past. Uh, I think I would like to add... The Sorry. Bangalore Planetarium will tell you that, you know, we've been having very good uh, interaction, the observatories and the planetarium. And, uh, you know, we have always been there to, uh, you know, provide whatever support we can. Yeah, I mean, in Bangalore, they have used the uh, live feed of uh, Hanley, you know. We showed it here and then people were very appreciative of that. Yeah. Once we right. had some correction on that. Yeah. Uh, I think Arvind Parajpe wants to say something. Yeah, I, I just also want to add here that live stream need not necessarily be 
one particular organization because a good lot of amateur astronomers also do the live streaming. And one interesting part of this eclipse live streaming is the same eclipse one after the other because at one place the eclipse get over and then you start exactly what happened during 1995 total solar eclipse, which from, uh, I think, uh, Nimka Thana, they showed it, then they went to Bhopal, and then, so there's a good lot of uh, possibility available when you want to do this uh, live streaming. As a friends, we have already encroached into the recess time because the next session has to start at 12.30, and our time was 12.20, extended time, so shall we... Thank everyone and uh, if I may. Uh, uh, wants to say something. Yeah, so um, maybe I'll just ask Neeraj to wait a minute. I'll take one minute to say something. This is maybe overall from the ASI. So one thing which I wanted to sort of bring into this discussion is that how can ASI and Planetaria work together? Right? You have the reach to people, to the general audience who we also want to reach. And we perhaps have some content which we can share with you, which you can take further to uh, to the audience we want to reach, which is not directly accessible to us. So, of course, today we are out of time, but this is something which we would like us to think about and see how we can work together. Yeah, we would want the best quality videos from the institutes, at, at least about the latest research topics. Uh, I can provide uh, small clippings which we will merge into a script which is prepared by us. That is one thing which we have been doing as a five minute show before the main program. And we want to showcase the research done by the local people. And therefore we need very good uh, videos from uh, your institutes, especially those uh, uh, items which go on the headlines. You know, that, that Those things we would like to have. Uh -huh. Need our support in that. Please get us very high quality videos. Well, may, may I just comment on one thing? You are talking of high quality videos. Tell me how many observatories or research institutes in India have put up astronomical object photos taken by themselves on their websites? Okay, so uh, well, I, I, I just wanted to say uh, uh, just a two, uh, one, uh, like you know, as Dr. Shailaja was mentioning, before we start our uh, regular Sky Theatre show, we have a five-minute capsule called Science Watch. And whatever latest that is happening in the field of uh, science and technology, we prepare a small video and show them. And on two occasions, you know, one uh, about uh, Saraswati cluster, and another time was when uh, exoplanet was found, you know, by PRL scientists. Then we wanted to present that, and I just wanted to share the difficulties we had in getting information. You know, firstly, we don't get information. I mean, we don't get the uh, uh, photograph of the scientist who has worked. I mean, we would like to show that. Yeah, even the scientists. You know, and also the work they have done. So, uh, I mean, our feeling is that a lot of good work is happening. But, you know, somehow, you know, if little time and little uh, effort is put by the, the scientific community to inform us about what is happening, then we will be very happy to show that to our uh, viewers here, visitors here. Yeah. The point is well taken. I think let's yeah. put Kiraj's his, his, uh, hand is very straight. Yeah, uh, the PhD scholars should be able to Yeah. Yeah, so can I can I say something quickly? Uh, so I cannot so take off on what Dil said and what Pramod also said. Uh, I think uh, more interaction, more more collaboration between the observatories and institutes and planetarium needs to be done. It has been patchy over the last few decades, you know, depending on a particular institute or particular planetarium. And I think one of the reasons, uh, you know, we are we would we are having this discussion here right now is to kind of figure out ways of doing it right so so if we can evolve some mechanism by which we can do this not an ad hoc basis through individual people we know but you know some, in some sense a bit more formalized or uh, for example either through the asi uh, 50 or through the public outreach committee or or whatever it is uh, that would be nice so you know so so it will be good to have some ideas to how to do this properly in the future uh, in an autom or in automatic fashion. And for example, when uh, Dr. Piyush Pandey says he wants photos of, of from telescopes, I think that's an excellent point. And uh, I, I think it will happen only if the planetarium put pressure on us to do it. So, so looking forward to uh, <laughs> no, you said it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. So, 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 so looking forward to kind of figuring out how we can how we can take this forward uh, in some systematic way. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Now uh, the next session has to start. Let us have some break in between.
If yeah. it is not required, then Dr. Shalja can start. I think we can, we can proceed now. We don't require yeah. break. We don't right, right, right. No, I think before we start the next session, you know, um, Dr. Anand Hota, I think he wanted to say something. We Anand. can listen to him and then we can start the next session. Definitely. See, uh, I have very, uh, to be precise, one point only to say. See, uh, Sailaja has said, uh, Anupama has said, and now uh, Neeraj also said, Divya said. Things are all connecting. I have been trying this proposal for many years with the Planetarium as well as Bhuneswar. That it is not yet, we are not yet ready to create full quality video from all the Indian observatories yet. Our press religious do not have that kind of results. We are not ready yet. So what we are ready certainly is that we can supply at least images. The press religious that research institute produce, they at least have the images that you can put in a slide show at least. So create two slide show, two television, two computer, whatever you can see, big, big screen for the public who are waiting to see your screen, see your dome. They are the, from, through a Google form, all the research institutes, all the astronomy teachers in university can submit their beautiful images with a caption. And you decide what to display in your screen. That automatically people will be contributing and you will be displaying in your screen. It is up to you what you want to display. Images in the slide show will be a document, it will be a directory in Google simply. If you and want, you I can help you in all this yeah. today. Thank you. I, I suggest that the young uh, scholars who, have, who are just submitting their uh, RPS thesis can make a very good visualization of the research they have done as part of their uh, completion of the thing. Maybe they, they are doing it already for uh, uh, giving talks and other things. If such a, a small clipping is made available, we will have a scientifically authentic source which we can show to the commercial fellows and say, look, this is the type of thing we want. No, that we want that kind of a content. So that's that's what my request is. I think all astronomy institutes can have a page like uh, we have other uh, for, like JPL and other things. They have a page where in web page where they post all the their good quality images also. So that whatever we want, we can select from there. Small clippings, animation images or whatever they can give, they can post it there. Elaja, um, I just wanted to inform you that now all the DST institutions are, uh, you know, sending out um, some kind of a, uh, what the DST calls a science story based on the research publications and some uh, interesting results. And this is uh, published by the DST's media cell. Um, if you just follow them up on the uh, Twitter, or on the DST Facebook, you will get to know that. And then you can contact us and we can provide you a little more than what is there, which is basically print, but we can give videos from the, uh, you know, a, a few bites from the scientists who are responsible for that uh, research. Yeah, that's very So you can choose what you want and then you can get in touch with us on what you want us to give you. That's correct, because uh, the common man will be interested uh, mostly in the moon, then the planets, and best solar system. Yeah, since people you know better like what would be of interest to the uh, you know people who come to the planetarium, you can choose what you want and ask us. Thank you. So can we start the next session? Yeah. So the next decision. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now that you know, uh, the first panel discussion is over. We'll start the uh, uh, next panel discussion. Now I request uh, Dr. Shailaja to take over and then get the uh, panel discussion started. Uh, this is uh, about uh, some kind of a coordinated activities uh, that can be done with uh, all the planetariums. And uh, here, coordinating means obviously about any celestial event, which part of which has been already discussed, and we have been doing it. But 25 years ago, when uh, this kind of a uh, facility and the interaction was not there, it was limited to only uh, personal things. For example, one of my students went to uh, Bhopal for uh, vacation, 
it turned out to be an equinox. I just asked her to measure the noon shadow on the equinox day. And on the same day, I also measured it here. And so we had a collaborative effort for uh, the Eratosthenes method. And subsequently, we have been doing it every year. And in the last few years, there has been a very good uh, coordinated effort uh, with the science centers and the planetariums. So in this connection, many other activities uh, also have been done as a collaborative thing. And uh, we have now four people here who will describe their uh, experiences and the uh, possibilities of uh, much more uh, fruitful collaborations. So is Dr. Saundar Perumaran here? Has he joined? I'm here, madam. Yes. Here. Ah, okay, nice to see you. So <laughs> he has been uh, doing this collaborative activity with many science centers and planetariums in uh, Tamil Nadu. I think most of you know him as a person from Kavalu directly from the observatory. So I request to Saundar to give yes. experiences. Yeah, five minutes time. Okay, madam. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity, madam. Actually, in the past, I could not be here, sorry. And uh, see, this coordinated activities, uh, many things uh, we can do, in my opinion. See, for example, in uh, 2000, 2009, uh, during the year of the International Year of Astronomy, uh, we coordinated with the IAEA, IA, Indian Institute of Astrophysics, and then we organized a series of uh, programs by inviting many scientists. Uh, Professor Prabhu came and uh, many other scientists from IAA came and then delivered lectures for two days. Uh, well received by the uh, audience here, students. You know, it's a very good uh, program. But uh, after that, uh, see, we were not able to do this. You see, coordinated astronomical activities we can do, uh, as well as uh, this kind of uh, activities also can be done if uh, ASA helps us. See, uh, uh, remote one or two, instead of remote one or two lectures, which we can have. A session like three days uh, on different topics and stellar evolution and other things. Uh, uh, see, there are uh, people who uh, want to learn all these uh, uh, things. Uh, so, this is one thing I wanted to tell uh, to ASI so that we will be able to do. Uh, and uh, see, uh, obviously, you can see temporary exhibitions we will have to uh, do. See, see if, I, if I develop one temporary exhibition, which is uh, here, uh, no, see, uh, around the fire area of the planetarium, we developed one. Uh, uh, temporary exhibition, and then at the time, we, I even sought the help of uh, Neeraj Mohan. Neeraj Mohan was here in, in Chennai at the time before he went to South Africa. And then, but he could not, but uh, we developed, uh, see, if, uh, if we go around the fire area, we'll be able to have a feeling of completing one textbook on astronomy. So, this I will be in a position to share. So, similar manner, if uh, other planetariums, if they develop anything like the temporary exhibitions and that. So we can uh, share and then we can display in uh, all the planet area. So this is the one. And then uh, see we are uh, here, we are organizing a program uh, called Inspire Monarch in coordination with the DST. So we are having very good reach uh, with the rural area. So all, almost uh, all the schools uh, we have uh, contacts with the science teachers we are having. So whatever uh, ASA would want to uh, uh, give, to the remote uh, school children and all, I have something like uh, 4,000 uh, email addresses of science teachers with me. So normally, uh, see, I share with, see, for example, IMSC recently organized uh, mathematical sciences. I shared with them similar manner. So this is being distributed. So we can even reach out uh, small villages. And uh, our center is having uh, planetaria in Chennai and Tirchirapalli. Uh, also, we are having one uh, small uh, traveling uh, small uh, mobile uh, planetarium uh, and uh, two mobile museum, museums. You can take them around all over, it's going, going all over uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, and uh, that is uh, being done. And then uh, other than that, uh, see other things, all of us know this uh, measuring the radius uh, diameter of the earth using the of tennis method. And then uh, we, are, we are in coordination with the uh, Bangalore planetarium. We are doing uh, during zero shadow day. We measure the speed at which uh, the Earth uh, turns, all, all these things we are doing. So, all those things uh, we are all aware. And the telescope making workshops and zero shadow, latitude, longitude measurement, this, this kind of uh, uh, activities, if we develop and if some of them are successful, uh, the details can be shared with uh, others also. Uh, this is what I wanted to tell. See, 
Okay. This is what the important things I wanted to tell, madam. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will take up the discussion later, perhaps. Yes. Uh, so now I request uh, uh, Arvind Paranjade. Arvind? Oh, yeah. Uh, see that uh, so far the discussion has been uh, in this session. Uh, what Sundaraj said is that uh, astronomical observation and etc. Now, my, uh, what I'm uh, suggesting here is that uh, we can have a common platform where we can write the script, which we have discussed in the earlier session, but make a nice story or nice script about say one particular topic. I'm not uh, mentioning what topic or anything, but a particular topic. We can put it up on a common platform where like a Google uh, doc or something. And what this story, uh, someone who is good in English can write a nice story about it. We can all pitch in to correct it or make some changes. And the story should have at least one thing which is absolutely essential and that is astronomical facts. So you have this story written about, okay, let us take an example as you have talked about say planets. And then you talk about Uranus discoveries of rings and so on and so forth. So have this kind of a story which is available for every one of us. Then what we can next do is that make a make a movie out of it or planetarium show where uh, uh, where we can exchange this. I mean we can copy these PhD files to every one of us, and then having this story uh, which is there or available on the web uh, or everyone can see. Uh, local people can mold that story the way they would like. Okay, like we can make translations in uh, in Mumbai, we can make translations in Marathi and Hindi. Now, Mumbai or Bombay Hindi is very different from uh, Allahabad Hindi. So that local flavor has to come, so we can do that. Uh, so th that, that's where we can actually collaborate. So second point I, I wanted to tell you is that yesterday in this session, some young uh, PhD students, they have started what is what they call is a cosmic varta. And there, uh, Divya and um, uh, next, uh, next uh, uh, ASI general body, uh, sorry, executive body, I'm requesting them that their uh, cosmic varta can be sent to all of us uh, instead of we trying to, because sometimes you may uh, forget to go to the, um, uh, their website to find out what has happened uh, latest. But if they can send the cosmic varta by, say, in a PDF file, so this cosmic varta has a latest uh, astronomical research which has been carried out. It's a wonderful thing these uh, young uh, um, PhD students have done. So such cosmic varta can be converted into what you have talked just uh, in the last session, that is uh, the five minute capsule. So we can actually help them to make the five minute capsule, which can be circulated among the uh, members of uh, planetarium now you can go into once again as a png file and they can convert it or mkv file or whatever file with that we want and then this file this cosmic varta can be actually played out say about five minutes six minute cosmic varta uh, before the planetarium show starts uh, i would also I, I also would like to stress here that we have been asking like in the last session we said that give us good quality image or whatever I'm suggesting that let us make a beginning, let us start it. And once you have a nice story and which when we start, um, we start uh, going into this direction, I think getting a money from the government to make one show in which the show is complete, but the language can be different. Uh, I mean, language can be added later on. So that can be achieved, but let us make a start. I think I would like, uh, sorry, one last point, And that is, the coordination could be also in dome casting. Now, for planetarium, we have Digistar 3 systems. So all Digistar planetarium across the country, wherever they are, they can, we can simultaneously, um, uh, simultaneously, simultaneously dome cast our shows and their planetarium. So similarly, one can also do a, with a little bit of modification that dome casting can be done between two or three planetariums so with a different um, uh, service providers. So that should be possible. I think I should stop here. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We'll discuss this. All these three points we'll take up for discussion later. So I request Shubhendu Patnaik to. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I absolutely agree with Arvind what he said. So we should have a coordinated effort. Uh, all of us are doing uh, uh, various activities uh, apart from planetary. So 
uh, as Avin said, uh, we should uh, plan for a combined plantum surge all those things. But apart from that, I would suggest like uh, we should have also coordinated activities in uh, celestial events. Like we have a lot of events, uh, maybe zero shadow day, maybe eclipse, maybe full moon, equinox, meteors, or whatever it may be. We may choose one or two topics and we can produce, means we can distribute among ourselves. Let's say I'll prepare a pamphlet for uh, coming eclipses. Uh, somebody can uh, prepare uh, for, uh, the, like, uh, we can share it in uh, uh, Google Doc and uh, we can translate it after that. So, apart from plantum so there are a lot of activities can be taken up. We are always uh, taking those things individually. Means like, uh, we are doing at Bhuvaneswar, Baram, Mangalore plantum they are doing, Delhi plantum they are doing separately. So, we can think of uh, some activities and prepare some uh, materials in PDF format in English initially. Then we can translate those things to other uh, things. And like uh, uh, already has been discussed, uh, we can uh, plan one year ahead. Of I mean, so we can, uh, if we start, we can start, think of 2023. So we can prepare a calendar for that. And everybody, every planetarium may uh, do activities or uh, basing on particular dates and particular times. So that we can centrally prepare some materials initially in Hindi, then maybe initially in English, then maybe Hindi and other Indian languages. Uh, I was thinking of there is a group here working on, and they are uh, now working on an app like for our planetarium that can be extended for other planetaries also, so that um, users like visitors or any students can use that app to know the uh, coming. Uh, events that has been being organized by the planetarium uh, wherever they are or throughout the uh, country. Similarly, we can think of a website that uh, in that way ASI can help us out or maybe some uh, centrally website so that we can put uh, whatever activities we are planning, means the planetums are planning. So somebody in Bangalore uh, student can visit that website and know more about the uh, activity. So in that way, it can, we can coordinate a lot of things, uh, interact with each other uh, very frequently. So we can have uh, those things. And uh, uh, few of the uh, most uh, common activities that we are having uh, should be uh, done in a coordinated, in some particular date, particular time. And uh, if we have a similar kind of poster, similar kind of write up, so that it will look like a uh, various uh, coordinator. And uh, similarly, we can think of uh, coordinated activities like uh, maybe once in a while, uh, state uh, countrywide uh, quiz session, or maybe some talk, something like that. So the, these are a few points you can discuss more in details in later stages so that we can have more coordination and more activities actually. That's what I wanted to say. We can have more discussions if anybody can. Uh, thank you. Uh, you know, the last, uh, Mr. Pramod, where you Yeah. Thanks, madam. Actually, whatever I wanted to <clears throat> sort of share with you, you know, most of things have already been told. So all of us are sort of involved in uh, uh, science popularization. And uh, we enjoy a certain reputation in the community in which we work, you know. Outsiders actually uh, uh, look at us, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, they trust us, you know, in the sense with the information for information and all. And uh, as we can see, I mean, we enjoy a good reputation amongst public. And as we can see from the response of, uh, to our efforts that happens uh, from the common people and from the media, they look to look up to us for arrangements, for information about of astronomical events, information displays and all. This actually places a lot of uh, responsibility on us. And when we look around, uh, uh, around uh, and look at the various planetaria in the country, there are uh, several centers where they don't have an astronomer. But they are as enthusiastic as anybody else in arranging activities. I think uh, uh, this is where the coordinated activities amongst planetariums and also help from uh, uh, professional astronomers will help us. Uh, we have uh, uh, done some uh, coordinated activities in Bangalore and I would like to uh, share our experience. 
on these two activities. So uh, the first time we did was uh, in uh, 2018, you know, this on uh, Zero Shadow Day. Uh, uh, we and Aryabhat Foundation in Bhopal, you know, we uh, uh, joined together and on Zero Shadow Day, uh, students in Bhopal, they were taking measurement of the shadow length and in Bangalore, it was uh, Zero Shadow Day on that day and we exchanged data and the children could uh, you know, repeat the er erotosthenesis experiments. And uh, there was sort of a, a lot of excitement, you know, the figure they ultimately, you know, they calculated, they, they measured, was uh, uh, in the same ballpark figure as the actual figure. Uh, and in 2019, again, we repeated, and it so happens that Zero Shadow Day, it occurs on the same day in Chennai, Bangalore, and also in Mangalore. So uh, it was natural that, you know, we seek there and uh, ask them also to participate in this. And they were very enthusiastic. And it so happened that Planetaria in Allahabad, Delhi, and also in Jaipur, they also joined. And uh, uh, Physics Teachers Association in uh, uh, Srinagar, they also joined. So uh, it was almost uh, a pan-India effort. And uh, uh, we and... Uh, Bhopal, we are on the same uh, longitude. Similarly, Chennai and Allahabad, they are more or less on the same. And similarly, uh, Pilikula Planetarium and Jaipur. So uh, this was a very uh, a successful event. And you know we were all very sort of happy with uh, the way things were moving. And in 2020, you know, because of the pandemic, we couldn't do anything. You know? And in last year, Though there was uh, uh, restrictions, we again uh, try to repeat. And uh, the important thing is last year, several centers in uh, Tamil Nadu, science centers in Tamil Nadu, they joined. And in Karnataka also several science centers, apart from uh, Bangalore Planetarium and Pilikula Planetarium, several other centers also joined. And uh, we had uh, uh, support as always from uh, Allahabad and Aryabhat Foundation and also from Jaipur. And it was a, 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 a great success in the sense, you know, there were so many uh, uh, observations and measurements coming from so many different centers and everybody, you know, exchanging data and uh, 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 kids sitting and doing calculations and all. But more important than the number and the reach, the one thing which is sort of, you know, stood out last year was uh, uh, the uh, contribution of uh, uh, Mr. Alok Mandavganya of uh, Aryabhat Foundation in Bhopal, who incidentally has uh, also prepared a, a very nice app which we use, you know, called ZSD. And Mr. Uh, uh, Sandeep Bhattacharya from uh, Jaipur, they, you know, actually pointed out many nuances. And, uh, you know, we also had a discussion what should be the size of a gnomon what would be good and things like that. So this coordinated activity not only helped us in taking the excitement of doing uh, the eratosthenesis experiment to a lot of people, but also uh, many other things uh, which these people pointed out. And another uh, uh, activity which uh, sort of I wanted to share with you was the uh, eclipse of uh, uh, 2019, you know, December 26th. During that time, we had taken initiative and we actually prepared solar scopes and many centers in Karnataka, they joined. So we have prepared a solar scope which projects image of the sun on a uh, cardboard. You know, one, we can place a A4 sheet there and take measurements. You know, uh, and uh, uh, all the, in all the centers, uh, kids did this. In the sense, you know, the uh, eclipse image of the sun is projected and they put a A4 size paper uh, their white sheet, they mark the limbs of the sun and also the uh, eclipse part. And then, you know, they actually calculate, they cover, I mean, with using standard geometric uh, uh, procedure, they actually complete the circle. Then, you know, at that instant, what was the magnitude of eclipse and uh, what was the uh, area of percentage, area, area of obscurance, all such things were uh, calculated. And uh, uh, kids in all these places, you know, they exchange data and, you know, I mean, uh, they uh, sort of uh, appreciated the fact that, you know, eclipse is not the same everywhere, you know, 
everywhere students were getting different magnitude different area of obscurance and all so this was sort of you know taking the excitement of uh, actually doing this to student community so this uh, with this experience i feel that you know we should be doing more and more of uh, uh, such activities and uh, <clears throat> Uh, it would always help us you know in advance if we know that you know if the celestial if a celestial event is happening and uh, if uh, it has a potential uh, where we can do coordinated activity uh, uh, mr arvind paranjape in fact you know i mean i see that you know many a times uh, whatever ha- whatever is, uh, up- uh, i mean he posts about upcoming uh, events in the sky and uh, if we can you know further extend that a bit and then you know if we can also uh, if we also know that we can do some coordinated activity it will be uh, very nice then uh, we at jnp you know uh, we have also participated in uh, occultation okay uh, uh, occultation of mars in 2020 and also uh, making you know measurement of uh, you know during a great conjunction distance between the two planets so all those uh, actually tell us that you know uh, if we uh, work unitedly like you know in a coordinated fashion it will have a bigger impact on the general population so i feel uh, with uh, that we should be doing uh, more and more and uh, recently you know we were approached by pune knowledge cluster about informing public about opportunities uh, to uh, to analyze big data you know that is the morphology of uh, galaxies. galaxies and i feel you know with um, uh, in person programs being allowed now maybe we, we can, all of us can sort of you know uh, take active interest this interest in this and then uh, encourage public to participate uh, then you know not only it helps the scientific community but also we'll be sort of playing a role in taking the excitement of doing this kind of a science to general public yeah these okay. are the Oh, time is out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm also through with whatever I wanted to say. Okay. So, so we can, we, yeah. We can yeah. now convert that into discussion because I see some hands raised already as usual. Yeah. So the, that was a very good, uh, uh, some kind of an overview from different uh, planetariums about the uh, coordinated activities and uh, the idea of uh, sharing a textbook Uh, was uh, fantastic i think and also making use of the cosmic vartha uh, to be made available for all the planetariums and so that is where the um, esi and uh, uh, planetariums can work together and depending on the uh, location if the authors of cosmic vartha can interact with uh, children and make them understand their research that will be wonderful and in the process they will come up with ideas of uh, uh, making a video themselves so this is what uh, is carried forward from the previous panel and so now others can uh, suggest uh, methods i see two hands up already neeraj and arvind arvind okay then to go before me i will it's okay with me okay i'll go ahead. i'll go ahead niraj is coming okay see what i wanted to suggest was that uh, one thing which we can start immediately because we have discussed so much um, it is recorded in the uh, video etc how about starting a very informal newsletter the, on the same line as that what we are sending you at the sky news okay but here i'm making a small suggestion and that is that in olden days we used to have this camera ready uh text that would go uh, as a uh, now what i'm suggesting is that i we can take a lead um, i'll have no problem about doing that but we have a two page newsletter which we can circulate among all the planetariums and there we can put all our ideas at one place it can be repeated whatever activities we have done that can also go or whatever activities you would like to suggest that are, that also it can go and it can need not have a particular frequency but as you get send it in mode we can basically once a month this newsletter come and 
if ASI can support, then I would like to get an editor uh, to check the English part of it because that requires a different kind of correct English that it is reachable. And I have a, one, a nice, per, a wonderful colleague. She, her job itself is uh, copywriting. And she was an amateur astronomer. So basically why uh, Sky News has been going as well as she has some interest in astronomy. So if you're interested, we can actually think of starting this particular activity, four page camera ready kind of a newsletter. We will put everything together as we are doing for Sky News and uh, uh, where you can participate. Thank you. Neeraj, you have. Yeah, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so just to kind of uh, recap from what Shaila just said, uh, some action items from for us uh, in the institutes is that uh, the putting Cosmic Varta in touch with you as well as getting all the DST stories and press releases to you. Uh, Cosmic Varta, uh, half of them live in Bangalore, so, that, so that's not a problem for you guys uh, and Pramod. Uh, so we'll, we'll bring them, so we'll put you all in touch, but for things like DST stories or press releases and so on, can, if it'd be, it'd be good if the planetariums can set up some structure by which each of us can forward it to all of you, right? Uh, usually so far it's been done through a personal contacts and so on, which is, which is fine, but I think it'd be good to have some structure, which you, know, you guys come up with and tell us. So for example, there is, you no, know, I handle the press releases. Uh, in IAA, Virena does it in Eri, Samir, etc. Ayuka and and you know and Yogesh and Divya and NCRA. So if you can find, if you can develop some structure by which we can just email all of you together whenever we have studies, that will be very useful. The other thing is uh, is that uh, when you talk of collaborations, I also want to bring up this recent thing we did in Bangalore, which is for National Science Day. Uh, when we had a Bangalore-wide event uh, with all the astronomy institutes, amateur astronomers groups as well as a plant which I think was a quite a good success. So one thing to explore also would be collaboration between the planetariums and the institutes in the in their own city, right? And that I think is, is, it's been going on for a while informally, but I think that's something at least based on the last event was very successful. And I think Pramod can comment on that as well. And I also see on chat that there's somebody from IA mentioning Dooth. So, so Dooth is another article, another newsletter from IA. So I think it'd be good to set up some way by which we can send you all of this material, which reaches everybody. Thanks. Okay, any other comment? I can't see any other hand coming. Madam, is it specialized ASI or ASI? Actually, uh, sometimes the ASI is in the ASI with the uh, yeah, one small suggestion. So sometimes we actually download, downloaded one temporary exhibition from IAU. Right, madam? Uh, see, after getting it from you only, I downloaded it. It's a very high resolution images and then uh, uh, yes. temporary exhibition from IAU. So, uh, but a similar manner, if AFA can develop uh, something with the latest, uh, that, that is, uh, is whatever is trending in the field of astronomy, if they can give us, it's not necessary to have 30 40, only even if it is a 10 or 15. The recent news, like uh, in Institute of Mathematical Sciences, are also uh, now and then they are publishing in their website also some panels. So, if they can AFA, if they can give, so we can translate also and then we can display. But now, uh, during 75th, uh, that Amrit Mahotsav, uh, DST has distributed uh, something like uh, 75 panels. Uh, they developed uh, about the milestones in uh, Indian science. So then, they, if uh, ASA can help us in, uh, you know, we can also do, but uh, uh, their input and then uh, the scientific content, etc., will be uh, an authentic. So that uh, if they can do, we say, like um, Pramod sir was mentioning, we are having many small planetariums coming up everywhere, all, all across the country. So uh, that is what I, I do want to tell that, uh, see, <coughs> see, everywhere they need uh, support from uh, some professional people. So uh, I think he's, you, you are referring to the uh, large exhibits of uh, 100 years of the IAU, right? They were very, very high resolution. Oh, yes, madam, yes, madam, yes, madam. We added the local uh, thing. We also had a uh, poster uh, oh. uh, here. Perhaps you are referring to that, I think. Yeah, likewise, yes, madam. If the AFC can... This is uh, what is needed. So we need uh, um, posters. We need posters of very high resolution, which can be printed and displayed uh, to a large size. Oh. That's important. Neeraj, your hand is up. You want to say something? No, no, it's an old hand and I put something on chat as well. Sorry. Can I say something? 
Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, since we were already discussing about having a uh, association of planetarium professionals in uh, another some uh, another meeting, so uh, uh, as it was suggested that we have all a PDF uh, having ideas from all the various or collaborative programs which can be shared among all the planetariums. So now why don't we have a uh, since it is free the Google sites we can make a uh, for the association we can make a informal site where we can have pages and which can be uh, maintained by each of the uh, participating uh, planetaria and they can put so that it will be available and there is no need of sending each and everything. Which website? No, no. In Google Docs, we can create a website. It is free, and we can for each planetarium we can have pages, and it can be maintained by that respective planetarium, and it is available to everyone to see it, so that we need not have the responsibility of again sending it or formatting it. That is the responsibility of that particular planetarium. So whichever outreach activities, whichever posters, or for example, uploading very high resolution poster, there may be data limit because we require very high resolution uh, for printing a four by eight panels and all but other than that whatever are the pdfs or whatever are the pictures or whatever is the interplanetarium activities which we try to plan uh, that can be put up in that particular google site and which can which is available to be seen by anybody who had the link so that can be thought out uh, if i remember correctly such a facility is already available on the pvoec website is that true neeraj or aniket uh... Can any of you comment? No, I was thinking about right. our own planetarium association, uh, professional association, which we are trying to form. He's talking about okay. the ah, set for that. Okay. Yeah. Well, we should. We can I I would, I would, sorry, I just I would like to say one thing here, that is that you have a site, and then every time something new is loaded, you need to tell people. Just, I mean, you you can take call for yourself that how many times you go and visit different sites. Oh, right. But if you have a news, uh, new newsletter, if you have a newsletter which comes on your desk, and the newsletter, of course, is a PDF file, so you can actually reading on your compute, mobile or handset or whatever, and that it has a link to whatever site that you want to point out. Once you have a paper on your hand or something in your hand, your, your attention pan goes immediately to that. That is what I would like to say. That um, Janta's idea is definitely very good to have a place. But, but we but can, we can, we can, uh, we can have the Google Assistant do it for us. It will whenever we have an update, it will just give intimation yes, to yes. the institute. Yeah, it will automatically send a message. It did not do it or a mail. Okay, okay. If you want to put it that way, I have no problem. Any other uh, suggestions? I think we have uh, crossed the time, so. I thought it was uh, one, uh, one. There is, there is one minute. hand coming up. Christian Karthik. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, no, whenever we are uh, uh, doing outreach, these days every kids to, I don't know, everybody is interested in the fascinating astronomy, like sky watching and everything. It will be good if you are uh, doing along with some kind of problem solving related with that. Uh, that will be the real growth of education. It will be good because the people started uh, doing for high fi research only. I mean, from the BSC itself, they have started writing, I want to do research, dark matter, this thing, etc. But when we are asking some basic classical mechanics question, it was not answered. So we have to also concentrate on small, small problems related with astronomy, like that. And another thing is, uh, we always need to uh, writing the things, like for example, Cosmic Earth and anything. And we, we are making so many articles and everything, but now the trend is changed. Of course, people are reading still. But uh, to the current set, uh, I mean, uh, current set term world, we, we can also monitor that in terms of video also, shots videos, like uh, they, they, it is becoming famous, yeah. it's uh, like an uh, uh, article within a small video, so that we that really can concentrate. That's what two things I wanted. Yeah. Thank you, that was a nice uh, suggestion. Uh, I just would like to make a small comment. Uh, this is Virendra from Aries. Huh. Uh, so uh, you were asking about uh, uh, videos and uh, images from observatories. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, TST has this initiative of uh, India Science uh, TV channel, which is a basically an internet-based uh, channel 
on which uh, and they also have a, a youtube uh, counterpart of the same channel as well so where they have uh, these documentaries uh, on all dsc institutes so there is, there are nice documentaries about uh, aries there are uh, about uh, ia rri and then uh, there are uh, some part of those documentaries and uh, other than these documentaries there are other videos as well which are about astronomy or which are about uh, uh, you know the various facilities that are there in india for uh, uh, the different telescopes and all so these also can be taken up by planetaria you know because these are very high quality productions oh i see thank you now we will make note of it what's the site you said it's called uh, india science tv channel or india science channel okay. so they also have a very active uh, uh, twitter page and a facebook page where they you know uh, keep on upload uploading these contents and many times like whatever uh, the science stories that we were already uh, talking about uh, a short while ago that whenever some new research comes and we send it to dst so many times uh, they themselves uh, take some small parts of uh, uh, clippings from these documentaries that they have already shot and they make nice videos out of them because uh, making videos uh, within uh, the institutes i mean we may not be able to make a high quality videos of course the images suggestion is really good and probably it was not possible till a few years ago because there was no dedicated person for science outreach uh, which have uh who could have you know be a contact person between say observatories or institutes and planetaria but with uh, say uh, crispin and neeraj and me uh, people like us now it may be a bit more possible oh, uh, that's nice thank you and i might be yeah, uploading into the youtube channel um, you can see video oh. any other comment Can I say something? Yeah. Okay. Ha. Huh. Anand. Yes. Please. Yeah, it might sound that I am repeating my thing, but to have a coordinated activity, you actually require input from the astronomers who are educating people from the universities and institutes. Research results that the scientists are creating, you just create as a coordinated single Google form. All the astronomers, all the teachers, they can freely contribute an image and text. you decide what to take and display to your students it create just a google form that will be starting of the coordinated activity of the planetariums mm. let the teacher let the scientists all from the registered institutes university submit their images you decide what is interesting to the children and you modify the text accordingly for example you always show a supernova remnant at what velocity is a supernova remnant expanding that information scientist is going to provide you may be having your animation to show that information he would be loving to provide it is his responsibility to how to simplify that research result to school children and college students we always saw the orion nebula an orion constellation different stars are at different distances i can plot in gnu plot and rotate the sky and show you the distances so if i create one slide interesting original slide i would love to show it to so many people what i will do i will simply go to this planetarium image submission google form i will submit that image and forget about it you like it or not it is up to you once i publish a paper i can submit i give a lot of talk i create lot of beautiful images i can submit and forget so that will be starting of the coordinated activity between three things outreach planetarium education university research institute and research results from research institutes you need to coordinate this thing by simple form of how a single activity can join all this thing together you may remember you join meeting also i was saying the same thing how do you connect all these three things many of you know i do citizen science research that's why i'm in this meeting that how what people will understand is by analyzing the data it will be the progress from the appreciation of the video or the appreciation of the colorful images some text they can think of some connection to indian research results a single google form is necessary to start at the zero order Yes, I can coordinate. Any of you can do start that thing. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Very good. Thank you. So we have had a very good uh, discussion. I think uh, something fruitful is going to come out of this 
panel discussion i think and let us look forward to uh, very interesting uh, um, uh, material that will come out of this with the uh, coordination and uh, uh, a good showcase of uh, indian research in the planetariums and so on i thank all the uh, participants and uh, for the valuable suggestions and sparing their time for uh, uh, this kind of a thing and i hope this trend will continue in the future asi meeting so that this uh, trend will continue and there will be a continued interaction between the professionals planetariums and educators and the university people thank you all i conclude this uh, session here thank you for giving this opportunity for the planetariums thank you madam thanks everybody thanks Uh, Javed, please end the session.